Political experts are calling it the most important Queensland election in more than two decades. Labor's held office for all but two of the past 22 years. But analysts are tipping that reign will end in 34 days. When Wayne Goss won power in 1989, it ended 32 years of Conservative rule. Now, more than two decades later, another power shift looms. This is the most important election for Queensland since at least 1989. 89 MPs sit in Queensland's Parliament. Labor holds 51 seats, the LNP 31. Bob Catter's Australian Party has two seats and there are five independents. But all that is set to change substantially. I don't think there's much Labor can do to, to change what seems to be an inevitable result. The LNP needs a 4.6% swing across the state to win government, but analysts believe it could be much larger. The once safe seat of Mount Cootha is held by Deputy Premier Andrew Fraser with a margin of 5.3%. It could soon fall into LNP hands. On Brisbane's south side, green slopes may also be at risk. Held by Education Minister Cameron Dick with a margin of 6.9%. On a 7 to 8% swing, you're looking at 25 to 30 seats in the 89-seat parliament that Labor will lose. One of those could be Ashgrove. It's held by former Environment Minister Kay Jones with a margin of 7.1%. Her opponent is Campbell Newman, and if he doesn't win it, he won't be Premier. And just to make this poll even more interesting, there's a wild card. Happy days are at an end, my friends. Happy days are at an end. Catter's Australian Party. It has solid support in the north. I'm thinking that the Catter Party might be restrained to four or five seats. Dr Paul Williams says that's not enough to change the result. Campbell Newman and the LNP seem, seem very much on track to, to win a very large majority. But first, there's five weeks of candidates fighting for their political lives. Michael Best, Seven News. Throughout the campaign, Seven's election commentator Graham Richardson will be providing us with exclusive analysis. He joins us live from Sydney now. And Graham, the polls all point to Anna Bly's defeat. How bad will it be for Labor? It'll be bad. I think a massacre is in the making. You'd have to say 30 to 35 seats she'll lose, and that's enormous. That's going to collapse the Labor Party into a, a pretty small rump in the Parliament. What impact will the Kevin Rudd sideshow have on Labor here in Queensland? You've got to feel sorry for Anna Bly. It's been going on for months, so any traction she'd like to get has been made much more difficult. And over the next few weeks, I expect that that battle will actually become official and there'll be a challenge before the Queensland election. If that's the case, then for the next couple of weeks, no matter what she says, no one will be listening. They'll all be looking at their television screens and wondering what's happening in Canberra. Is there any way Anna Bly can overcome Campbell Newman? Well, I think the power of prayer would come into it here because that's about the only thing I can see. A miracle is what's required. Campbell Newman will win Ashgrove. I think he'll win it quite easily. Uh, I, you know, Kate Jones is doing well, but you can't hold back a tide this size. So Campbell Newman will win. Uh, Catter won't hold the balance of power, I wouldn't have thought. And at the end of the day, you'll have a very big coalition majority and out goes Anna Bly. Graham Richardson, thanks for your time this evening.